After a closure of almost two years, Spring Lake is open again for the new Volunteer Diver Education course. The lake was closed for restoration and for safety reasons divers were not allowed to go in. Now the Spring Lake Dive Authorization course lets them get their feet wet again. The goal of the course is to study the spring flows, vegetation growth and fish and species counts. The Meadows Center is hoping volunteer divers will help collect data and contribute to preserving the lake. It really is an incredible way for us to engage the public and get people here uh, not only from our own university uh, community, uh, but from the community at large to come here and help us uh, maintain uh, the lake. The Spring Lake Management Plan has scientific components that are specific to Spring Lake and includes new requirements. Uh, students do all the academic material at home prior to coming in, and then we spend one day with them here at Spring Lake reviewing uh, the assessment quizzes that they take, uh, going over safety procedures, and we do a tour of the springs uh, to orient the divers to uh, just where they are in the water. Any diver with an open water certification and a minimum of 20 log dives can take the dive authorization course. About 60 people have already enrolled in the course. Divers who pass will become members of the Meadows Center Aqua Corps. Mitchum says it's important to keep Spring Lake's ecosystem healthy. And we, those of us that work here, uh, absolutely feel so incredibly fortunate to uh, call this our office. Well, in this great environment, I can't resist and just have to dive in. For Bobcat Update, I'm Veronica Kondrativa. You guys looking for a job over the winter break? November is a month to rejoice for many students. The air is cooler and the semester is winding down as the holiday break nears. However, for graduating seniors, it means polishing up resumes and trying to organize for the next big step, life after Texas State. I started sending out applications over the summer. I've gotten only a few interviews for things that I didn't really want. Although students typically begin the job hunt during their last semester, some choose to continue their education in graduate school. I had some job offers, but nothing really intrigued me, so I figured if I was able to increase my knowledge once again, I'd have a better opportunity. Even then, every student will have to go through the dreaded job search eventually. Luckily, you don't have to do it alone. Texas State's Career Services offers a variety of ways to help Bobcats land on their feet. If they're graduating in a couple of weeks, come see us now. If they haven't already, um, we can help them polish their resume and point them in the right direction of some job opportunities and some useful websites. If you're feeling unprepared as graduation approaches, don't worry. There's always someone out there with advice on what to do as post-grad life becomes a reality. I would say make as many connections as you possibly can throughout your college experience. Um, don't wait until the last minute to make an awesome resume. Jobs for Cats is really, really useful. With the economy nowadays, you really don't have an opportunity to maybe pursue a well-paying job with just a regular bachelor's degree, which is unfortunate to say. Uh, a lot of companies will look for people with master's degree or graduate degrees or even doc or PhDs. With graduation just around the corner, the job hunt is on, and seniors like me need to start putting out feelers wherever they can. For Bobcat Update, I'm Jason McCall. Can I get an application? Thank you. One program that the university offers to promote campus safety is called Bobcat Bobbies. Students can use the service from 6.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. to be transported on campus and avoid nighttime walking. Another safety resource is the 911 call boxes located on campus. By pushing a button on one of the boxes, students notify police of an emergency. A blue light will flash at the location to help locate the student. Safety should be everyone's concern on campus. I think with everything, you always have something you can work on, improvements. But I will say I do feel pretty safe, so they're doing a good job at it. Residence halls promote safety by carefully monitoring who enters or leaves the buildings. Freshman Kylie Ballas says such precautions make her feel safer on campus. The resources are really well, like the Bobcat Buddies and everything like that. So I think it's really safe here. Otto Glenwinkle of the university's police department says the job of promoting campus safety is never done. He says improvements can always be made. 
Most of the students utilize, you know, the, the resources that the university offers. I think that there can always be more done. Glenn Winkle says the police department has officers on duty throughout the day and night to help keep the campus safe. For Bobcat Update, I'm Tiana Lee. The Hitch is a mobile eatery downtown. It offers a wide variety of food, fast and fresh, and catering to everyone. We're just on our lunch break and it's quick, so we have to get back soon. Yeah, I love being outside and it's a great day outside and it's something different. It's a perfect environment for study groups, day dates, or date nights, quick lunch breaks, or even just catching up with an old friend. So for instance, I can wrap this up, go to class, have after class, just finish eating. The Hitch offers customers great food for a relatively low price. It's fast, cheap, and healthy. The Hitch is located on 312 East Hopkins Street, only a 15-minute walk from campus. It's probably about a mile walk, all downhill, which is great. <laughs> and then after you eat, you can walk up the hill and work it off. So I cut, it's like, you know, it has its benefits. <laughs> the Big Kahuna seems to be one of the favorites for San Marcos locals. Owner Mark Jacobson says he's been in the restaurant business since he was nine years old. And with uh, San Marcos growing, I figured that we would uh, go ahead and give it a try here with the university, and it's been, uh, it's been very uh, successful for us. We've been very happy. The Big Kahuna features a variety of specialty dishes. I'm here at the Hitch right now at the Big Kahuna, which is delicious, authentic Hawaiian cuisine, and I'm about to dig in right now. For Bobcat Update, I'm Brittany Lassoon.